Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I would like to thank you guys for all your comments and your questions, and I'm trying to answer all of them on time. So today what I did, I made a list of things that you guys have been asking me about, and I'm going to talk about the seven most important things that is going to help you guys to build a movie theater. So the very first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the budget. So I know this looks like, a, uh, you've, you've watched my previous videos and everyone is like, this guy has so much money and this and that. Guys, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm self-employed, my family and I, we all pool our money together and that's how we built this theater. So we did a lot of research. Like if you see these, I have a stack of papers here and this is my entire research of this movie theater and this is still not top level. So if you see here, these are all the speakers that I installed in this theater. So what I did was I researched each and every speaker as to how much they are. I live in Canada and we have stores like Amazon, Best Buy, and local electronic stores. I decided that I'm going to have a 724 system. I went and looked at each and every single product on each website. So I made an Excel sheet, like a spreadsheet, started looking at the cost. I, I looked at how much are, are the subwoofers and the projector. And then I just, you know, kept adding and throwing the taxes in. And, and I found that where I'm going to get the best deal. So who is going to, you know, make me a whole package. You don't have to buy, like, don't go crazy. Don't just start going and buying all these speakers. You don't have to do that. Think about future. If I still want, I can have more ceiling speakers because I have wires, speaker wires that are already built. They're already in the ceiling and they're accessible. So I can upgrade these speakers anytime I want. I'm going to show you guys something here. So this was my AV rack and this is how basically everything was stacked. I priced out how much my power conditioner was, my amplifier, my Xbox, the Blu-ray player. So I made a list of all these things and I did my research. So we were down here guys with painter's tape. Like we were measuring how high the ceiling is and how far apart the screen is going to be, how far you are from the screen. Because, you know, I can go bigger, but then I'm going to be ruining my, my visual effects. Like if I'm sitting down, I don't want to be turning my head and looking at, uh, you know, like it would just ruin the whole uh, feel of the movie theater. So where my projector is, look at over here. You want to make sure how you mount your projector. Now I'm in a basement. I've seen some basements where people are walking upstairs and the projector is moving. Everyone's sitting down. And if your screen is shaking from people walking upstairs, that sucks. So make sure that if you're mounting your projector to the ceiling, it's where you're hooking up the projector to. Or you can build like a box, like in wall, and you can slide your projector in there. That's another good option. If you have more room, you can have like a counter and then you can basically place your projector on top of it. And that would be another option. Now work with an electrician because let's say I have this beautiful starlight ceiling, but let's say the projector plug was over here or somewhere there. Uh, that would just throw everything off. So make sure when you are building a home theater that your power plugs are where you want it to be because you can't move those stuff around. And throw in extra HDMI cables, the, the more the better have dark colors. Now, if you notice my screen here, even though you have some light shining on the screen, it's throwing off the colors. So when this room is dark, like when the lights are off, what happens is all the light from the projector is going directly to the screen. If I had white ceiling, like above here, the, the, the light from the projector would, would go on the screen and it would reflect back on the white walls and it would reflect back on the screen. So you don't want to do that. So that's why dark colors are important because dark colors absorbs light. Now I'll share the paint codes of my walls and my screen walls. So that's a deeper black from Sherman Williams paint. And that's a, another type of black on the walls, more like a green hint to it. So guys, the next thing I want to talk about, and this is probably, this should be my number one thing, but since you guys were talking to me about the cost, the very most important thing about building a movie theater is your AV racks location. This is really, really important because this is your main heart. So you wanna decide where you're going to put your AV rack. First, I was contemplating, I decided I'm gonna put it in the room because I want to have easy access to the remote controls and whatnot. But then after playing around with it, I figured, uh, well, I noticed that 
things were getting really hot in there. The noise in there, the fans, the cooling, your amplifier gets really, really hot. The fans have to be turned on. Uh, there are so many lights. So you wanna put your AV rack somewhere in another room or in any other location. You can put it behind the screen, the wall behind the theater. So do your research, like everyone's, you know, uh, different. I would avoid putting it in front of room. Like I've seen some theaters where they have it like underneath the TV or underneath the screen. I, I would avoid that personally. I think that just kind of takes away from the clean look. When you go to like a professional movie theater, where you don't see the AV rack. Everything is behind, it's behind the projector, and you guys just, you know, sit there and enjoy the movie, right? So if you want that feeling, make sure that you tuck those away. Now another thing, make sure you put this on a separate 20 amp circuit. So work with your electrician to make sure that it has a separate switch that goes to your panel. If you don't have that option, put power surge protectors on everything. You wanna protect your equipment because this is expensive stuff. And another thing I wanna talk about is labeling your wires. This is really important because you have so many wires. It's a giant ball of spaghetti wires in there. And I will put another shot. You guys can see that I have so many wires there, but everything is labeled. If I ever want to go behind my AV rack and you know service anything, I have that option. Okay, so speaking about location of AV rack, I already mentioned where your AV rack is going to be and your projector. The other thing is now, I know a lot of you don't have this uh, or not into the star lighting. I love this. This is the most, uh, that's the first thing people notice is my star lighting. And I will tell you how we built it, but I'm not gonna get into too many details because it was really complicated. We uh, basically have, you know, this motor of fiber optic wires and they are each in individual holes where the fiber optics are put in. It's in different colors. Now, the location of my motor is actually in the dead center of the room. If I ever wanna service it, I know exactly where it is. There is an access panel and I can always take that out and change it if I ever need to. Okay guys, number three, seating. Now this gets very overlooked. So I'm going to make another separate video just to talk about these seats because they're just so awesome. So I'm only gonna tell you this. If you are doing your research, you have, you're setting your budget for your speakers and your video, please do your research and get proper seating. It sucks to go in a movie theater and not have comfortable seating. So these seats are by Valencia. These are the Tuscany edition and I love these seats, guys. They come with so many accessories. You have these table trays and you can enjoy your popcorn and you have your cup holders and just the looks of it with the LED lights on the bottom. So if you want to have a movie theater feeling, do your research, but I think these are the top quality seats that you can have for your home theater. I'm actually gonna show you guys a little, this is a little teaser of my next video. Valencia actually sent me these uh, awesome uh, accessories. So these are the popcorn uh, bowls, but there's another special thing in there that's not released on their website yet. So stay tuned, I'll be making another video talking about these seats and I'll show you guys what this is, okay? So number four, these acoustic panels. Now, a lot of people confuse these acoustic panels with soundproofing. Guys, this is not soundproofing. These panels are actually made for sound absorbing. So if you already have a room, I would say that put these panels up. If you're building a movie theater from beginning, I would say get it double drywalled, put some sono pans. Now sono pans is that green stuff that helps with soundproofing. You still need these panels. So I'll give you guys a little explanation why. So if I'm sitting down here, let's say, and you don't see sound, correct? So, but we hear sound. So the reflections of the sound, when they bounce around this room, it sounds very harsh. So what these panels do is when the sound hits that wall, it absorbs the sound, creates that immersive feeling, and that's what you want. So definitely, definitely get these panels because they're really important. Now, I know a lot of you were asking me how I built the store. We have some family experience with door tufting and making like restaurant booths and stuff like that. So that's what this is. This is, we tried it on like a small panel first and then we got comfortable with, uh, you know, tufting that. I know it looks awesome and this, but this actually serves a purpose. I'm in the construction business, guys, and I'll tell you this, a lot of sound that leaves your room is through doors because people put interior doors. These doors are hollow doors. Like if you get wood doors like interior doors, the sound leaves and come, you know, goes in and out. So it's really, really important. It's really crucial that you treat your door also. So if you're putting panels, make sure if you have doors in that movie theater, make sure that you have weather stripping. Treat this door as an exterior door. This is this weather stripping that we added here. So it creates the tight seal to this door. So this is basically a vinyl wrap. Now, what, you know what else you can do is I could have this vinyl wrap or like a, 
those really, really durable, high quality curtains, uh, like middle velvet. And you can put this, like you can put that stuff on the entire wall. You can cover the entire room with that. It will help with the light absorption. It will help with sound and um, sound calibration. Uh, like I have what, seven seats in here. I have carpet, I have panels. But at the same time, if you add more things, like more material in the room, then your sound will you know, improve even more. And every time you add more stuff in your room, make sure you calibrate your speakers. Now, but calibration, what I mean is, I'm gonna show you guys another thing. I should have actually said this earlier, but my amplifier came with this little piece here. So this piece, what it does is you put this on a tripod and you hit the sound calibration and what it does is it calculates the distance from each speaker to this mic and it um, sets you know the decibel levels and it makes sure that if you're watching a movie that sound is exactly how the movie makers want you to hear that sound so make sure that you calibrate each time if you're bringing in more seats if you're bringing in more furniture in the room that you calibrate your speakers all right guys now we're going to talk about smart lighting so guys this is really really important now i know a lot of you are not into this gimmicky devices and i'm personally not, i was not into it either we didn't have any google products or alexa products and we didn't have any smart switches or smart dimmers but i realized look at that exit sign uh, there's plugs behind the subwoofers uh, projector has a power outlet the couches have power outlets these LEDs are always on. That AV rack, it has like 15 things in it. Constantly, I have to change colors of the lights and the star lighting, the pot lights. When you're in a movie theater, when the movie comes on, everything gets dim, right? When the movie is over, everything comes back on. So you want to have these smart devices. I'll show you guys a little, uh, my, my app here. So this is my app from Miros, and you can see all the equipment I have in there, my wall sconces, my step lighting, and I can actually set. So let's say, you know, the previews are on, I can basically hit this command and now we're in the preview function, okay? The movie's over, everything has, it turns back on. So the movie's over, I hit this button and everything comes back on. Okay, so now that brings me to my number six. So we're gonna go outside and guys, this is really important. Now, I know I had the pleasure of having this large space. Whenever someone comes down here, they, they're like, wow. If you want to have a movie theater feeling, make sure that you put up some posters, uh, have a snack bar, you can put a mini bar fridge, uh, have like signs everywhere. Like I have a cinema sign, these candies, you know, all types. I even have like a, a snack bar tip here. I don't know how much money is in there yet, but <laughs> um, so you see over here, I got a washroom sign. And see this, you have the popcorn machine here, you have popcorn flavors, and it just gives that movie theater feeling, the vibe, it sets the atmosphere. Uh, when the lights are dim, all these little LEDs are on, it just sets the mood. Another thing what you can do is, let's say you don't have the big space. You, can, you don't have to put all these crazy posters like me. You can have like one LED poster and uh, it will change, it will still give that feeling, right? So I'm gonna show you guys another thing we did here. I don't know if you watched in my last video. So your content, guys. Now I know people nowadays, everyone streams, everyone's into IPTV boxes and uh, the 4K Fire Stick. I have all that. We live in the country and sometimes internet goes out. So you wanna, you know, if you're like me, if you're really into movies, have a movie collection, like have your favorites at least, have your TV shows. And I'm telling you guys one thing. Now, I know a lot of you may disagree on this, but some of these uh, movies, even if you're streaming, you don't get the, that quality. Like I'm talking about the video and audio, like Dolby Atmos. When you're playing directly from a disc, the sound, the Dolby Atmos sound is amazing. And actually, let's go into the washroom. I'm gonna show you guys something here. So this tv here i know a lot of you were asking me like how i did this so another thing with my av rack location i was able to bring an hdmi wire and have a power plug behind the tv here and there's actually a speaker behind this uh well i don't know i shouldn't be showing this in the video but <laughs> there's a speaker behind this picture frame and it actually gives audio as well so even if the tv is off I still have audio because sometimes it cuts the signal like I don't get 4k signals if the TV is on that's another thing you want to research if you are you know putting another monitor too in your any other location you're not going to get a 4k signal so make sure you're aware of that out and I almost forgot in my last video as well so you've seen my AV rack where it's located now with my AV rack you know I mentioned that have the right location make sure it's tucked away and this and that when I was building this theater, 
My AV rack actually has wires to my ceiling speakers inside the basement. There is wires that are going to my uh, living room area here. Now this is also a 5.1 setup. If you look over here, uh, those speakers, all those wires are connected into that small little cubby that we built down there with the fireplace. So all, I have direct internet wires that are going in there. The, the wires are hidden and they're going into these speakers. We're building actually a home extension and we have speakers wires going there. We have speaker wires going outside. If I ever decide to build a shed outside, I can have my AV rack uh, play content outside of my house. So guys, do your research, make sure you have the right budget. Even if you don't have the budget, you don't have to buy all the equipment and go crazy like me, but at least plan it. So draw out your spreadsheet, draw your drawings and make sure that you do it right. But if there's anything that you guys want me to uh, talk about next, please comment below. And thank you for watching my videos. I hope this wasn't too long and I'll see you guys in the next video.